In my previous tutorial, I explained how to search for components in the Ultium built-in libraries and how to search for components using the Octopart, the world's fastest search engine. I also explained how to add components libraries designed by someone else and I also explained how to add components schematic symbols, footprints and 3D models from the SNAP EDA. Anyway, these are the components along with their footprint IDs. These are the same components which I searched in my previous tutorial. I will be using these components for making the schematic and PCB of a 12 volt regulated power supply. Let's go ahead and open the Ultium schematic and PCB designing software. To start a new project, simply click on the file menu, then new and click on the project. Enter the project name. Click on the create button. You can see the power supply project has been added. Now right click on the project name. Go to add new to project and click on the schematic. Now press ctrl plus save to save the schematic file. Now again right click on the project name. Go to add new to project and this time click on the PCB. You can see the PCB file has also been added. Again, press the Ctrl plus S button to save the PCB file. On the top, you can see we have two windows for creating the schematic and for designing the PCB. First, I'm going to start with the schematic, so I'm going to click on the schematic window. To add a component, simply click on the components panel. If you are searching for components like resistors, capacitors, controllers, etc., then select miscellaneous devices. And if you are searching for the connectors, then select the miscellaneous connectors. But as I have to first search for the connectors, so I'm going to select the miscellaneous connectors. Now, if you know about how to search for a particular component, then simply go ahead and write the component name or part number. Ultium will find it for you. In my case, I will continue with the components which I previously found. So I'm going to copy the part number of the DC power jack. Paste this in the search box and Ultim will find the related components. This is the DC power jack. If you want to check all the details, simply click on the part number. To add this component, simply click on the mouse right button and click on the place. To end the command, click the escape key on the keyboard or click the mouse right button. Use the control plus mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Follow the same exact steps for adding all the other components. All the required components have been added. Before you start the wiring, first rearrange all the components. Use your mouse left key to select and drag the part.
you can make multiple copies of a component by simply copying and pasting it. One more thing, if you want to rotate a component, simply select the component and press the spacebar key on your keyboard. You can make certain changes by selecting the component and then going to the properties panel. To start the wiring, click on the place fire button or simply click Ctrl plus W and start connecting all your components. To end the command, simply press the mouse right key. You can add ground and voltage ports from here. The schematic has been completed. You can see all the components have this question mark which means that all these components need to be properly annotated. For this go to tools menu, annotation and select annotate schematics. Now you can see all the components are properly annotated. The question marks have been removed. The schematic is ready and now we can start working on the PCB. For this go to design menu and click on the update PCB document. You can see PCB footprints of all the components are added. Now you have two options. You can first define the PCB board size or you can first start by placing the components. If you have a particular PCB board design, then you should first design the PCB board and then you can start by placing the components. As in my case, I don't have any specific design requirements so I can start by placing the components. Use your keyboard spacebar key to rotate a component. Once you are satisfied with your components placement, you can press number 3 on the keyboard to activate the 3D view. While holding the shift key on the keyboard, use your mouse right button to rotate the part.
press number 2 on the keyboard to activate the 2D view. Now to define the PCB port area, for this select the mechanical layer and then select a line. By pressing the spacebar key on your keyboard you can change the line style. Do some final adjustments. I think it looks good. So now to define the board select all the lines. Go to design menu then to board shape and select define board shape from selected objects. You can see the PCB board has been defined. You can press number 3 on the keyboard to view its 3D look. Hold the shift key on the keyboard and use your mouse right key to rotate the PCB. So this is how your PCB board will look after manufacturing. Press the number 2 key on the keyboard to activate the 2D view. For the automatic routing, go to route menu. Then auto route and select all. You can see all the wires are automatically routed for you. Now let's go ahead and try manual routing. So I'm going to press Ctrl plus Z to undo all the changes. Press the wire or simply press Ctrl plus W. You can change the wire shape by pressing the spacebar key on the keyboard. You can change the wire width by selecting one or multiple wires or traces and then by going to the properties panel you can enter the wire width value. You can see the wire width is increased. The same way you can manually route all the wires. This is how the PCB board look after routing all the wires. Now to give it an attractive and professional look we can add copper area. So let's go ahead and place a polygon plane. You can see the copper has been added and now it looks good. You can also add copper on the bottom side for this simply activate the bottom layer and add the polygon plane the same way as I did for the top side. Finally our 12 volt regulated power supply PCB is ready. In the next tutorial I will explain how to generate Gerber files, how to place an online order how to solder all the components and how to use this 12 volt regulated power supply. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.